Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an Su-100. It's a Tier 6 Soviet turretless tank destroyer. It's located on the north spawn of Cliff and it's under the command of Tilt Rat. Okay, battle started, but Tilt Rat's not loaded in yet. His gun's dropped. Oh, yep, saw some action in the gun, so he's alive. Well, they built two and a half thousand of this tank destroyer. It's basically an upgrade from the Su-85, and originally it was supposed to have the 100 millimeter gun. You can have that; it's one of the choices. But what it does have is the ability to load a 122 millimeter gun with 390 alpha. Now, has he got that gun? I think he has. Yes, he has. And I think the reason why you can tell is because of the muzzle brake. It's rather big and beefy, just like the uh, Soviet heavies. Well, an enemy's made it up onto the plateau straight away. And I think he came the long way around to get there. But there's a T-3485 in the pass. Now, the T-3485 is the vehicle that actually provided the hull, or rather the chassis, for this tank destroyer. It was based on that original hull. I got some spotting off that one as well. Moving up. Okay, now what can we see there? M4A1. It's a tier 6 game. It's got tier 5 tanks in it, so you are top tier. But you should be able to do a lot of damage. Now he's loaded an AP round. Oh! T3485 was on his side! And that's why he was having difficulty trying to get a resolution to that one. He must have flipped himself over, rubbing up against the rock. Now, Panzer T-25 is probably not going to make the same mistake. But that's a useful first kill. I think he's hiding behind the rock, so... I don't think we've got a shot on that Panzer T-25. If we did, it would be a very nice hit, because that thing's got very, very weak armor. And... Well, there he is. Okay, we're dialing in. We've been spotted. We fired the round in, but unfortunately it doesn't hit. And we've been ammo racked. And we took another round. And this time it was from a bathtub. So we know there's a bathtub off to the left. A lot of fire coming in, hitting the building. 21.6 seconds. It is a long reload for this caliber of gun, but then it does do a lot of damage with one shot. And Tilt Rat's backing up. Hmm. Yeah, I think that Panzer T-25 surprised him. Poked around the corner. I don't think he was expecting him to do that. He's lost half his hit points. And he still hasn't been able to fix the ammo rack. Because, of course, he only took a small repair kit. Not a large one. Now, there's a little hut in the way there. So the shell would have to go through that. In order to uh, hit the Panzer T-25. That Panzer T-25 is quite some distance away. As you can see that. And RT is firing at him. We've just pulled back to have a look and see what's going on. General perspective. And the RT rounds are whizzing over the top of us. One of those is from the Fifi. The 105 Lef H18B2. Or Lefi. As other tank drivers know it. And I think he's generally terrorizing that P Panzer T-25. Okay, there's another T-3485 moving up. Remember that bathtub? He's somewhere near that T-3485M. I think he's sitting behind the rock at the moment. The M4 is behind him and to the left. I don't think we've got a shot on either at the moment. They're behind the rock. Okay, we've moved up. That might make us more visible when we do fire. And T-3485M is pulling back and going round the other side. So I think we're just going to chill here for the moment because the team are doing quite well on the east side of the map. They've gone around the lighthouse, they've got control of the lighthouse, and they've spotted the enemy SU-100. Now this tank destroyer actually got a nickname during the uh, war, Pizdat Simu, and that actually means the end to effing anything. Yes, if anything went in front of the gun, it normally died. 
primarily because the gun was so powerful. Uh, oh, he's been spotted. It's that VK that's uh, spotting him. Thank God the bathtub actually bounced around off him, not actually uh, got it through. That's what they said about this thing. does have fairly decent armor, but the bathtub might try again. We can see that he blocked a shot for 150, so it, the S35CA does not have the top gun. If he did, he would probably have done a lot more damage than that. We know generally where that bathtub is. We're looking in that direction right now. Somewhere near the rocks. He's fired a speculative round in just in case he wants there. Pulled back straight away just to be safe. That VK is still up on top of the rocks though. KV-1s I think inhibiting him from moving forward. But Tilt Rats decided he's going to move forward. Oh he's been spotted. But the bathtub's not firing at him yet. Now, oh, but the RT is, and that's two shots. Two different RTs fired in. One of them is the AMX 13 F3. Got 142 hit points of damage off us from a splash, but it was the AMX 13 AM with a 105mm gun that actually got a direct hit, and that one hurt us. 162 hit points. It's a much lower caliber round, but he did do a lot of damage. The AMX 13 F3, 155mm howitzer. So I think the AMX 13 AM was probably aiming at the M10 RBFM. We went up alongside that rock, and I think he took the opportunity to switch targets, and that's how Tilt Rack got hit. So rushing forward like that to try and get a better shot on that bathtub didn't pay off but we also know where the enemy RT is they are located at the back of the map in the corner but Tilt Rat's only got 25 hit points left now so that's going to make life a little difficult because he can't venture out a near miss from that AMX 13 F3 will take him out of the game altogether Okay, he's decided he's going to go a different route. He's going to go around. They've dealt with the VK, so he's gone down. The VK up on the cliff just around here. Oh, he's decided to circle back. This is interesting. Everybody's fl flooding through the western pass now. I thought for a second he was going to go up on top of the cliffs and shoot down onto the enemy base and try and get the S35 that way but no he's dashing over to the other side of the pass and because that VK has gone we not we weren't spotted there which means now we can approach the bathtub from directly in his face it looks like he's fallen back to near his own cap yes there he is he's been found Okay, so he's going to be distracted looking up at the cliffs because our guys are shooting down on him from over there. Can we get a shot? No, Artie gets him instead. Okay, so there's probably nothing guarding the cap except an archer and their SU-100. There's the archer. No shot. We're going to have to move. I think we're out of view range. Oh, the archer... It's come into view, but he's actually going away from us. That rock's in the way. Don't think there's anything. The Artie's uh, going to fire in there. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks to me like the... Um, it looks to me like the only tank that could be guarding the RT is a Dick Max. We might have a shot in the Archer this time. Yes, we do. And he's gone. So there's an SU-100 and a Dick Max. The Dick Max might be at the cap, but the SU-100 was seen up in the tank destroyer nest. So I think he's going to try a blind shot. No, he's not there. 
and Six Sense did not go off, so we weren't seen. Oh, they just took out the Dickamax. He was actually making his way towards our cap. And it's now just Tilt Rat and his RT against the uh, RT and the enemy team. And there, SU-100. So <laughs> I do think we've got the advantage, though, because we've got the M44 and a Fifi, whilst they've got an AMX-13 AM and the AMX-13 F3. Both of those RTs have got longer reloads than our guys, so... The only problem is, if that SU-100 is up in the nest, and we make a move towards the enemy cap, then we're going to get spotted, and the SU-100 is going to probably fire in our direction. Now, he's just asked his RT, are you loaded? And he just told them the state of his health. And he is a splash. But at short range, coming up that little rise, you can actually be difficult to hit. You might overcalculate or miscalculate, and the shell will go over the top of the uh, tank destroyer, and then he'll get a chance to wipe them out with one shot. He's loaded standard AP only. He's going to come around the corner. They'll be in the corner. If he's been spotted, six cents will go off. Oh, he's being very sneaky. He's trying to... Oh, there is one of them. Okay, he's been spotted. Six cents gone off. Takes him out one shot. But he would have been seen. So fire might start coming in from the SU-100 any second. He spotted the AMX-13 AM. There he is. He's missed his shot. He fluffed it. And Tilt Rat doesn't fluff it. And that's his Pascucci's. Artie came and fired in at the last moment. Now he's going to get behind the wreck. That's good. Because that means the SU-100 has to shoot at him over the wreck if he wants to get a hit. And now I think he's unspotted. So the SU-100 can't see him. And he pushed the wreck. Now it might give him the... Oh, no, saw something up there. I think that was an Artie round going in. Oh, we just lost one of our RT. The SU-100's at the other end of the map. There he is. He's up the other end. And he just killed the M44. The Fifi is turning, I should think, to face him. We're just going to cap for the moment. I'm not sure that's a good idea, actually, though. Yeah, he's going after the Fifi. Now, the Fifi's bound to get a shot into him. But, yeah, he has been killed. Fifi's got a fast reload. But uh, the SU-100 probably has got the 122mm gun, so it's all up to Tilt Rat now to save the team. They're going to win this battle. It's going to be him that, to do it. And he's using the bushes to approach. Okay, he's stopped. Is the SU-100 going to try and cap? Well, there's the two-minute warning. If he's going to cap, he's going to have to do so in the next few seconds. Or he won't be able to try and cap. In which case he's going to have to hunt. Now he knows Tilt Rat's down this end. Because obviously Tilt Rat took out both the arty. Here he is. Beautiful shot. Right in the side. Wins the game. <laughs> what a mistake to make. <laughs> That's a good game. Well done Tilt Rat. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's not often you see people do that sort of mistake. Second class tank of a tilt rat in the SU-100. He managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four. A duelist, a fire perfect, and a hand of God. And he got a Pascucci's medal for killing two of the enemy RT. Um, nothing else except a win eight of 3,160, which was very good. Super U come standing. And he was the last TD standing on the end of that game. He didn't get the highest damage in the game. No, the Fifi did. 1,365 hit points for him. But he didn't get the high caliber, so it probably wasn't 20% of the enemy hit pool in total. And then came Tilt Rat with 1,200. Oh, no, he didn't get the second spot. He The second spot went to that VK with 
1,287 hit points of damage. So he did quite well as well. And then comes Tilt Rat with 1,224. And after that, the Air Mix 13F3 with 1,202. And it was only those four players who managed to get over 1,000 hit points of damage. When it came to kills, it was our Fifi. He got five kills. Tilt Rat got four. So did the Dickamax. And after that, there was uh, two tanks in the enemy team, the VK and the SU-100, who got three kills apiece. And the SU-100, yes, he got a Piscucci's because he killed both our enemy, our arty, in that game. When it came to base XP, it was Tilt Rat who got the highest 820, 722 went to the M10 RBFM, and 662 goes to our Fifi. He fired eight shots in that game, got four direct hits, four penetrations, damage of 1,224 hit points, all of it at close range, received five hits from the enemy, only two of which were penetrations. The armor is pretty good, but he did hit some, get some big hits, one from that uh, um, bathtub, which uh, shaved off quite a lot of his hit points. And he also received two hits by way of splash damage from the enemy RT. Yes, they shaved quite a lot of damage off him as well. Block damage of 260 hit points in total, spotted four enemy vehicles, damage four of the enemy, killed four of the enemy, and did 596 hit points of damage assistance or spotting assist. On a premium count, he earned 31,287 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 20,067 credits. He got 26 bonds, one from the Pascucci and 25 from Veni Vici, and he also earned 1,230 for the battle XP, Times two for the first victory, took away 2,460 altogether. So quite an unexpected end for the enemy TD just drive casually in front of him, trying to get to the Western Pass. But I had the feeling he felt that he was confident that uh, uh, Tilt Rat was elsewhere and that Tilt Rat was trying to get a position to shoot down on him from above on that plateau. And that's why he went straight across the um, Western Pass. I personally, I would have done exactly what Tilt Rat would have done, just driven straight towards the Western Pass, sat in a bush and waited for somebody to move. And uh, then we probably would have got a proxy spot if he was above us. But uh, as it was, he gave away the battle by that move and uh, Tilt Rat got his win. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification button so you get alerted when a new video comes out. And thank you for watching.